Imagine a world where farmers are not forced to grow illicit drug crops. They have viable and sustainable alternatives to earn a living. Legal markets are accessible. The environment is less affected by the drug economy. But this ideal is not reality. Millions of people worldwide make a living by growing illicit drug crops. They live a life of uncertainty and insecurity as they face violence and injustice on a daily basis. Do short-term profits outweigh a life in fear and instability? No. Many of these farmers have no other choice. Poverty, armed conflict and violence have marked the affected, often remote, rural areas for decades. The lack of a proper land titling system creates economic uncertainty as the farmers never know for how long they will have work. Therefore, they grow illicit drug crops that require little investment and can be harvested quickly. Deficits in the rural infrastructure limit the farmer's options to access legal markets. While the state is barely present, the adverse conditions are ideal for criminal networks to operate. Drug economies affect not only people, but also the environment. Trees are cut to plant illicit crops. The chemicals used to produce drugs contaminate the soil and water. Traffickers turn pristine forest areas into roads and landing strips to transport drugs. How can governments deal with the problem? The military could destroy the fields. But when strong herbicides are used for this, it harms the environment. Farmers start growing in a different area, as they still don't have a legal way to earn money. The holistic approach of alternative development aims to reduce the dependence of farmers from the illicit drug economy in the long term. It tackles the problem at its root. This means finding solutions for the development deficits and offering legal income alternatives. Instead of coca or opium poppy, farmers are trained, for instance, to grow coffee, bananas or macadamia nuts. They are supported in adding value to their products and making them interesting for consumers. Alternative development aims to diversify the source of income. For example, ecotourism becomes an attractive option once the regions get safer to travel to. Primary forests are kept intact and a diversified, sustainable agriculture contributes to biodiversity. Villages could receive payments for ecosystem services. Farmers thus could earn money by making sure the environment is protected. For these economic livelihood options to become viable, the framework conditions need to improve. State institutions get support in enhancing rural infrastructure, assistance programs and public services. Smallholder farmers are involved at every step of the process. By taking on responsibility, they can create the change they need themselves. Alternative development can lead the way out of the illicit drug economy and open the path towards sustainable development.